Hey guys, this is Dan from Jailbreak Zone. I was going to give you a quick overview of a tweak for the iPhone 5 on iOS 6 called Zephyr. Uh, this comes from Grant Paul or aka CH Pone on Twitter. Uh, this tweak uh, allows you to have some gestures applied for app switching and for pulling up your app switcher and those kinds of things and closing apps as well. Kind of like what the uh, iPad has. Um, let me go ahead and jump into my app switcher here. So if I'm on Twitter, uh, I can put one finger off the screen and pull it on the screen basically and jump right right between apps apps that way. So as you can see, I just pulled up the settings for this app. Uh, you can completely disable the swipe to left or right uh, if you're having problems with a game or something where it keeps trying to sw switch it. Uh, you can also go into certain applications and you can disable it for certain just certain apps that you don't want to have have the app switcher work maybe on a game or like Angry Birds or something where you're swiping off the edge of the screen. Um, you can add a grabber. Uh, it just pulls up a little grabber kind of similar to what the um, notification banner has on it. You can grab onto it and pull onto it in that, that way instead. Uh, you can set the number of fingers. So if I change it to two and then I try to pull off the one, one finger doesn't work. So I need to use two then to be able to change it. And three, four, uh, get, you can get more complicated and more difficult to be able to do it. Uh, I prefer just to have it set on one. Uh, you can you can adjust the sensitivity from tiny to gigantic. Um, normal or large is where I would stick uh, stick at, unless you're I guess again playing a game that you wouldn't want to have uh, doing that running that. So I can go back to the app I was previously in. Again, I can go either direction. Uh, it's just similar to what your uh, app switcher is. Which one do you most recently looked at? So if I pull up on the bottom and we'll hesitate. It'll pull up the app switcher, basically a double tap of the home button does the same thing in iOS 6. This is just a simpler way to do that. Uh, I can hit the home button to exit, pull up again here, hesitate, it pulls up map switcher. If I press here, it exits. If I completely go all the way up, I can just go ahead and exit an app that way, just kind of like the, the grab on the iPad. Uh, again, if I jump into the settings here, you can use the grabber, the same thing, disable it. For the keyboard, number of fingers, so you can set it for multiple fingers. So if I change it to two, again, I have to have two fingers on the bottom to pull up the bottom. And if I if I hesitate long enough, it'll pull up my app switcher instead, instead of, the, of exiting the app. So you can have your switcher delay, so how many milliseconds it's going to wait until, or how many tenths of a second it's going to wait until I, uh, to pull up the app switcher, if it wants to see if I'm going to close the app or not. You can go into here and you can have it completely disabled or you can just have it doing the switching only so you don't have to worry about it closing apps. So it will never close an app for you. You can go up no matter how fast you want, it won't close it. And then this, again, the switcher time delay. I've noticed uh, you need to have a pretty short time delay for it to work. Otherwise, I mean, it seems like it's more than uh, maybe like a half second. Maybe it's a little slow, I'm not sure. Again, you can disable this in different apps. Uh, it's a nice little tweak out there from CH Pwn. Um Going to one more over, I think. I have the uh, city I pulled up. Uh, this tweak runs $4.99. Uh, it's, this is the, if you go to the featured and section in uh, Cydia, go to interface customizations, you can see a bunch of barrel and those kinds of things. Uh, Zephyr's here. Just click that and see it's from CH Pwn. Uh, awesome multitasking basically just brings in the iPad switching abilities. Uh, this tweak again is $4.99 and uh, it's been updated for, I think it's an, there's a 1.51 that was updated for the iPhone 5, I believe, or maybe there were some issues I can't remember. Um, maybe you fixed the grabber or something, but I heard there was a newer version out. Uh, let me see at the top here. It's 1.5 1. So uh, go ahead and check it out on a on a Cydia uh, for $4.99 uh, I think it's worth it and you can also use it on um, your iPad for advanced uh, adjustment or settings for your gestures on your iPad as well uh, go ahead and check us out on Jailbreak Zone on Twitter and as well uh, Jailbreak Zone on YouTube thanks